This is Slice of Milo. This was published earlier this summer by Adam Foreman. This is a children's book. It was originally a webcomic that was picked up and it was published uh, this year. And Adam is busy working on the second volume. He's a cartoonist from England. And I found this on Instagram. Not even sure how, but I just fell in love with the cartooning. And I thought I'd share it because it's really a children's book. And so even if I go through it and I spoil it, this is something that you would read to your kids or read with your kids. Um, little kids like stories. They like books being read to them. They find that interesting. So I thought this was a kind of a, something different, but something that I think they'd like. So anyway, the story is really about this group of characters. This is Mallow. This is the um, main character and his friends, Pizza, Potato, Donut, and Ghost and their pets. Uh, I love the cartooning on this book. It's simple, it's easy. It kind of reminds me of the old school cartooning that you would have seen in the newspaper. A little, little, you know, moderned up, but still uh, just really fun, inviting work that is um, easily accessible. Love the colors. It's got a lot of bright colors, but um, isn't garish or too much in the senses. It just seems bright enough without being too much an assault in the eyes but this is something that kids respond to as well so there's three stories in this volume the first story is introduces the characters and the story is that their pets are mysteriously vanishing and so there's a note saying hi and lonely sort of taking your pets and so what they do is they check the whole house up for the creepy basement so they go down the creepy basement and they find there's a ghost there and the pets are here and they're all in good shape and they're all having a little tea party. So, um, you know, he's just lonely. Didn't know how to like stop being lonely. So that's why he took the pets. So they actually eventually, um, you know, accept him. And, you know, now he's hanging out with them. And what I find um, interesting is that in the greater context, although it's very subtle, this is a story about you know, it's hard for some kids to make friends. It's hard for, some kids are shy. Um, it's sometimes hard for them to be included in a group. And so I think everybody's gone through that at one point in life. And so it's cute here. And I love this um, Captain Underpants homage. And if you had children from the first decade into maybe part of the second decade, you know who Captain Underpants was, especially if you had boys because they read these things all the time. Uh, the rest of the book details stories. Um, there's a second one where Milo goes into space and has a space adventure. And then the third one, he comes back from a space adventure. And um, a time machine appears. And future Milo comes to see younger Milo to kind of warn him about something. And uh, I just love how future Milo is bigger, older, and he's got this big um, old school 1800s bushy kind of um, British mustache. It's, it's funny to me. And the book is like that. Like I said, the cartooning is really lovely. It looks really good on this nice white stock. Uh, it's a sturdy hardcover. And as I said, these are the kind of books that kids like. I mean, based on my experience having three kids. And um, this is a nice way to get them into comics. Because this is a comic. It's just collected in a story. So if you have a child and looking for books to read to them, um, or if you are know someone who has a child and maybe want to recommend a book or gift them a book, this is, I think this is a nice selection. Um, even though the characters, I think they are all male. I don't know for sure. I think they would appeal to um, boys, definitely. And I think they would appeal to girls, too, because I think the themes that are there are kind of universal. And like I said, this doesn't hit you heavy on the head with anything. They're just fun, nice stories. And I like comics that are good comics. Good comics are good comics no matter what they come from. And just because it's a children's book doesn't mean it's not a good comic. So this is a little different than what I normally review. But I just think it's a great work. You can look at Slice of Mallow on um, Instagram. And you can also look for Adam Foreman. I believe it's at Foreman Comics. Um, and just chat with him. I've chatted with him in the past. Uh, very nice, cool guy. Um, very happy with the success of this book. And so that's really it. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little run through. Thanks.